You have probably wandered into these backyard gardens on your journeys. Maybe you even daydreamed about how cool it would be if they actually had some plants growing in them. But did you know a few gardens were added in the multiplayer release? There's this one I've been standing near and another one just a bit over here in Muldra. There's also two garden stores in Louisville. On day one, most of the plants in Muldra are ready to harvest, and that is where the free farming experience comes from. Many of them are seed bearing as well, which give you plenty of seeds to start a much larger farm when you decide to. Now I know the question you're going to ask. What do you even get from farming levels anyway? Honestly, I don't know, and this isn't a farming guide. The wiki hints at increased starting plant health, and you can clearly see that the info panel gets more and more accurate as you level the skill. At level four, you can hover your mouse over crops for a quick tooltip instead of having to do the right click info dance. Now for my kind of research. How many farming levels can we acquire with varying levels of investment? I'm only going to test Muldrow for now since you'd have to drive to the Louisville spots and wait for them to grow. For this test, I'll harvest all the plants available day one without any trades and no skill books. The result is almost level three farming. Don't forget, you could come back and hit up the rest of the plants when they finish growing. That's pretty decent XP gains, but what if I read the skill books when appropriate? You'd end up with about level five farming, which is quite a bit for doing nothing other than finding the books. And just for some fun, I'll throw in one level in farming from the gardener trait, the skill books, and the fast learner trait. Here comes the headline. You can see as I get up there in farming levels, the plants are starting to give about a thousand experience each, and there's just enough to hit level 10 farming. If you're watching this thinking, oh great, Rhett just found one more thing for me to focus on in the first week, don't stress it. For whatever reason, blessed be thy devs, the timer on the plants does not start until you enter the cell, meaning single player characters could come collect their free meal and seeds months into the game, well after they have had time to gather the skill books as long as they stay away from the north side of Muldra. You'll also notice that the gardens are far enough apart that if you enter their cell from the appropriate direction, it will not load in the other garden and allow you to stretch that meal ticket out even longer. If you're playing on a server, just accept someone else already came by and stole the free XP, and to be honest, I'm too busy smacking zombies to care about some veggies. 